Hey everyone, this is the second session of the stud video series. So right here I had a little bit of a different approach. You can tell it's the same day, I just came a little bit later on, and this is a shorter session. So, given that he charged me the first time, now I came in here with a little bit more energy and intent. And although I'm keeping my body language calm, all I was trying to do was just reach and touch him with the stick and rope. Now quickly I figured out that that was a little bit too short, so what I'm going to do now is just get him used to the touch of the rope. And anytime he looks at me or squares up, I'm going to back off from swinging it. Anytime he keeps moving around, I'm just trying to toss it over him gently so he can feel it. So I'm going to lightly move it, swing, and he had quite a big reaction from that. But that doesn't mean that I should necessarily back off. I'm just going to go a little bit lighter, easier going. My goal here is to make a lot of energy, have him face up or look at me. I'm going to help him out in a little bit by backing up, trying to get him to face up. As soon as he does, I stop swinging the rope like you see right there. Okay, so the goal is basically desensitizing from afar. Anytime he looks at me in the swinging rope, the swinging stops, I back up, I relax. I know it's really hard to see right now because he's off screen, but you're going to have to believe me that he's just quietly on the rail. So then he stopped looking at me, I added some more energy again, as soon as he faced up I released and relaxed. So quite a different approach from the first session, but that first session can tell you so much of what you think is going to work better for the horse. So no longer am I going to be trying to do join up with him at this moment in time. Now I'm going to try to work on desensitizing, saying, hey, I'm going to get you used to touch and feel, and everything's going to be alright. So right now that's what I'm working towards, being able to eventually touch him with this rope and then with my hand. started moving again, so I was going to move the rope, get in front of him. I wasn't quick enough, so I had to stop right when I started moving it. Good boy, he decided to face up that time, get a little more confident, but I want him to look at me and relax. Good, so he's getting a little bit curious. Super, and I liked that he stayed there for quite a while and thought about it. So now I have a goal of being able just to toss the end of it over his back. I'm not trying to rope him, I'm not trying to restrict him in any way. I just want him to get used to the feel, get used to the energy, get used to the motion. So first thing I did was just toss it on the ground near him, behind him, not even in front of him. Because I didn't want him to spook at it or jump yet, I just want him to get used to the feeling of the rope being near him in general. Again, right at the ground. I'm not even aiming for him. So still keep my energy nice and low. Toss it behind him. Now I feel like this horse may have been roped at some point. Actually, I think they said he was. So horses that have before that have maybe only been roped once or twice, they anticipate it and start to run as soon as they see something coming at them. So I'm just trying to kind of show him, again, it's just on the ground near you. You don't have to worry right now. Just get used to the motion of something coming towards you. So, and it was pretty hot today. That's why this session is a little bit shorter than most of them. I just wanted to get him moving little bit familiar with the rope, but I don't want him to overwork since he is doing a lot of trotting right now. It's also super dusty and a little bit windy. So just trying to work with the conditions we got. But that's a little bit of a better reaction. We didn't have cantering out of it that time. He's thinking about slowing down, you saw right there in front of the camera. So I'm slowing down a little bit, going back to the de desensitizing.
Good, I like that he didn't shoot away from that. You can see he kind of came out of it with just a little bit of a jog. Again, he's starting to slow down way more now. The twirling of the rope isn't setting him off anymore. And now I'm still just trying to toss it on the ground behind him. Good and get him used to that. So I think we had a better reaction that time. I don't see him shooting out left or right. So he must have stayed pretty still. I do apologize for him not being on camera, but I still wanted to show you guys this and hopefully you'll be able to kind of hear where his feet are at and just see that anytime I slow down the swinging of the rope or stop it, he's faced up with me. So again, it doesn't look like he moved too far forward or backwards that time. Just going to stick with him. And I really like that he's starting to understand not to shoot off. It's a lot of progress. You saw at the beginning, the first time I just even tossed it lightly on the ground, he shot forward and almost tried to clear the round pen. He's not that athletic, though, so he wasn't even close. But that was the reaction he had. That was the type of anxiety and panic it made him feel. So I'm glad that I'm able to help him start realizing that the rope isn't all too bad. It's going to take a lot of repetition, practice. The only reason this is a little bit more dramatic than other things is because he's just moving forward. He's a little bit wild. It's easier to do repetition on a horse that is calm and you just have to teach them over and over again a certain maneuver. Now teaching one not to be fearful of humans or tools, that's a little bit different. Unfortunately, my camera did die here, but I think I probably only had another minute or so of that session just working on getting him to face up again, go quiet. And then we ended on a good note. And I think I have one more session on this very first day. So that will be the next video. But hopefully you guys learned a few things from that. How to handle another type of situation and desensitizing a horse that's really worried about touch. Just a movement from a distance. And hopefully you tune in for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.